Hi, hello, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, December 20th, 2023. I'm Giovanni Banacourt, analyst, trader, and operator with Vantage Markets. All right, then, so uh, yesterday we looked at, we had a resistance of around 17,000, psychological resistance. It has been broken. We traded above that. We traded right into our resistance, which is where I'm holding it today. Today we have peaked above that resistance, but we are pulling back. Uh, we're doing a retracement, so therefore let's do a re use, let's use the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool to see how much of a retracement uh, we can speculate to see if the the up, upward momentum, the uptrend is going to continue. So if if this uptrend is going to continue, then uh, this pullback or this retracement should fall right around the 038 percent. And out of this and, and, and from this area the zone it can come back and rally back up again now if it's going to be a deeper a, a correction a correction of this movement then we can expect that to, for the market to come down to the uh, golden ratio of 0.61 percent of the Fibonacci ratio that's for the Nasdaq the same token goes for uh, for the S&P which are you know we're trading in new territory uh, that 4800 has been surpassed so that was that was, that was our initial uh, our initial target, and it's a bit a bit a bit more about above that, which uh, four ten, and we that's why we have our, our resistance, and that was surpassed. So now that we are above our resistance, you no know, anything anything is, is just really here is just you know eyeballing. Uh, so I'm gonna put it forty eight thirty, but I don't think we're gonna reach that. I think we're gonna come back to forty eight hundred. Then we have the Dow. The same token goes for the Dow. Uh, no, thirty-eight thousand. I'm gonna put my resistance at, on that number because that's that's a target for it. So let's see if we do an, another retracement. Let's, let's just uh, use the same number of days and 0.38 percent. If we're gonna continue with this upward movement, no uptrend. That's that's what we add. So so far right now, I'm just saying this is a correction. Uh, no money. No, I think some profits off the table. So yesterday we had a uh, seventy-four dollars as our resistance for the for crude oil that has been matched. So let's jump that up to about seventy-six and let's raise our support right around seventy-two. Okay. So going along with crude oil, not gas, we have reached uh, our our, um, our our resistance for net gas today. So let's just kind of raise it a, a bit more. I'm gonna use twenty sixty just. I'm actually thinking this is going to continue to go lower. So let's see if that's the case. Then we have here uh, gold. So yesterday I had gold. If you look at, go back into the video. So from yesterday, this is the resistance level for gold. Yesterday we, we kind of touched it. We almost got to it. Uh, we were $2 shy away from it. Uh, 2046 uh, is the high of this candle. And from there we have been retracing. We did open with small gap down. So perhaps the... Uh, is the sense of it is to pull lower 2020 could be that target uh silver is also looking to push higher we had that resistance of 2420 yesterday so i'm gonna kind of just lift it a little bit more right around 2440 and we're gonna bring up our risk support right around here so going along with silver could be a good, a good chance also but it, the dollar index is, is it seems to be getting stronger so recuperating itself uh, uh, you know, copper also had a, a very strong movement to the upside we have seen that let's change to 395 and let's bring this up to yesterday's low uh, and I think uh, copper might just come back up and revisit today's high Let's see what, what happens to it. Bitcoin is, is moving to the high, is moving higher. It's making a nice parabolic movement here. So let's see if 44,000 will be reached today. Uh, then the currencies are, are trading lower or pushing lower than yesterday. We didn't reach 110. We are pulling lower. Let's see if we are able to sustain north of 109. And the pound didn't reach 128, as we speculated. But uh, today, it did uh, meet yesterday's low and has rebounded from here. So let's see if that momentum will help it reach 128 today. And that's what could be met, what could be happening if we continue to see a uh, depreciation, more more pressure on dollar index to the downside, uh, perhaps even breaking this one, this support of 101, 400. That's it for me today.
have a great trading day and I'll see you tomorrow.